What's up, everybody? I'm Seth Fowler, and today I wanted to uh, start off a live stream because we're going to live cop some Yeezys, some DMPs, and have a good time, uh, hopefully. <laughs> so I did a little bit of research into how these sneakers are releasing. It's actually a different sort of release procedure than I was expecting. I knew that Adidas was going to have stuff in the app, so if you guys want to enter the Adidas app, apparently you can sign up uh, for the next 59 seconds. Let me switch over to um, Yeezy View, as I like to call it. Apparently you have 15, I'm sorry, not 59 seconds, 59 minutes. Apparently you have 59 minutes and, oops, 59 minutes and one second left to sign up in the Adidas app. But then again, this uh, this stream is like delayed by like 45 seconds, so it's probably almost over. I'm so stupid, no, 58 minutes, 58 minutes, it's delayed by 45 seconds. You'll see this at like 58 minutes exactly. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. Oh man, I didn't get much sleep last night. Okay, so. Um, this is the Yeezy 350 V2 Linen. If you guys want to see the review of this sneaker, it should be on my channel. It should be the newest video on my channel. I can also link it in the description below if you guys want to see that. But before we actually jump into things, because we've still got about 29 minutes until stuff starts releasing, let me go over some of you guys' comments. So, first things first. What's up, Brad? What's up, Kylo? What's up, Leo? What's up, Kabir? Equinox? Eason, the dude, is awesome. <laughs> what's good? Um, what's good, Liam? What's up, Mark? What's up, Yash? Nikhil? Colin? Roman? Manav? You guys are all awesome for being here. Thank you guys so much. Milky? Eric99? Tim? Jamal? Caden? Living Hand? What's good? It's good to see you again. Justin? Wavy Jr.? Dwayne Kim? Silent Silver? Jake Mius? Jones? Yash Gupta? Timothy Fuller? It's good guys. Scorpion? Do a nine a nine air vapor max plus review. I could do a vapor max plus review if you guys wanted to see that. Snake Charmer, what's good? Damn, there's a lot of you guys in the chat today. To the 354 you guys watching, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. What's up? I'm the boss, Philip Charles Sizzler. Is that Sizzler? I don't know. <laughs> Cook, what's good? Oh man, it's good to see you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with uh, with me and spending the morning with me. This should be a lot of fun. Um, we're going to try and cop the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the linen colorway and also possibly the Air Jordan 6 DMP, which is a dope sneaker. It's, they're Actually, both sneakers are over 200 bucks. They're both kind of expensive shoes. Another shoe I was kind of interested in, but I didn't realize it already dropped on um, NewBalance.com was the Casablanca uh, New Balances, these boys. But I went to NewBalance.com or I Googled it and um, they're already sold out, so that's kind of annoying. Um, let me see, actually, what other stores are dropping the sneaker? Uh, where, oh, yeah, New Balance. Here we go. I think it's sold out. Yep, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, uh, yes. I was excited for a second. I was like, oh, no way, but no, it's gone. <laughs> 100% gone. What's up, Cooper Fox? Good to see you, man. Lucas, what's up? Silas, Milton. The Legend 27. Yeah, I agree with Cooper on that one. I wish you guys all good luck today. It should be fun. Uh, a lot of the places uh, dropping the Yeezys, I actually looked up on Sneaker News. They usually have a list of the sneaker, or where this shoe is dropping, or whatever shoe it is that you're looking for. Um, and today we've got a list including Nordstrom's, Shoe Palace, uh, Yeezy Supply, which is a shock drop, Jimmy Jazz, DTLR, um, Chic, Snipes, Mr. Porter, Adidas, so Adidas is a sign-up, which uh, we already went over. And if you guys want to sign up, I think you have the rest of the hour. I don't know exactly when they let you know when you win, but um, I don't think it's immediate. I think it's a... Uh, well, let me see. I haven't signed up, actually, because I already have a pair. In fact, to be honest with you, I don't know if I'm actually personally... I don't want to ruin it for you guys. But I, I don't think I'm actually going to um, cop anything personally. I'm just going to try and add the cart and see how difficult it is. I'm, I may go for the DMPs. I already have a pair of the Yeezys, so I don't feel like I need a second pair. Um, here we go. Go into the Adidas app. I actually, actually, if you guys haven't um, entered yet, I just got in on Thursday the pair of uh, Air Jordan 1s that I'm giving away, which we actually caught last week on the Live Cops. This is actually pretty funny. So here's the pair, uh, the pair of Air Jordan 1 uh, Court Purples in a size 10. I haven't actually opened the box yet because I've been using my personal pair in the videos. But here's the size 10. Got it off finishline.com. Um, let's see it. Bet it looks like all the other core purples. <laughs> there you go. You guys get a live unboxing. Here we go. So here are the core purples. Looking fresh. Size 10 from finish line. Copped on last week's live cop. 
right at the end, actually. I didn't think I was going to be able to cop anything. I was trying to cop the, uh, the Alvis, because I got rid of my pair early, which I shouldn't have done. Um, but here they are. Oh, it looks like, okay. So it looks like the laces fell off. But they're still in the box, so that's all that matters. <laughs> there you go, size 10, looking fresh. Nice looking sneaker, still smells like leather and glue, I guess. But it's a dope sneaker. I really like it a lot. And um, hopefully one of you guys in the chat gets to win it. I mean, you know, whoever wins it, I'm happy for them. But because you guys are here. <laughs> um, but the way that you enter is you click the link. I believe I put it in the description. It's a link to my Instagram. You make sure you're subscribed. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. And you go to my Instagram. You follow me on Instagram at Real Seth Fowler. And then what you do is you comment done underneath the picture of those sneakers. Well, not that not that exact pair, but like a pair of court purples. I forget. Is it um? It's hanging from like my fence or whatever. I don't know. But it's the most recent picture of the court purples. Make sure to uh, comment done under those. So it's subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and then comment done underneath that picture. And then it'll be randomly. We'll do a random selection uh, through the comments, and then we'll verify if that person's actually subscribed and, and following on Instagram. So yeah. Super excited about that, but guys, let's uh, let's take a look at what places are dropping these Yeezys. I already have Shoe Palace up. I've never actually copped anything from Shoe Palace online. I've done it in store, but never online because it's usually kind of bot ridden. But it is what it is. Let's see what else we got. We got Snipes, Nordstrom's actually sometimes works out. <laughs> so I've never copped anything like super hyped off Nordstrom's.com. I've copped some decent stuff, but. I didn't even know they had a sneaker release calendar. That's kind of crazy. What did they drop? They had the Jordan 1 mids, the 2090s, uh, the Metallic, Air Maxes, more 2090s. They had the Cinders. Huh. And the, uh, Mar not Marshes, the other ones. I forget what they're called. They've actually had some pretty decent stuff. Like, they had the what? They had the Pine Greens? Dang, why haven't I been using Nordstrom's more often? Are those the reflective ones too? Those can't be the reflective ones. No, there's no way. Maybe they are actually. No, they can't be. There's no way. <laughs> I don't know actually. They could be. They could be. Um, so they also had the Ivy Park Ultra Boost. I'm mad about that because I spent so much money on those that they didn't even fit. So, sucks. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. So, okay. Apparently I can't click on them yet. Link to Instagram, it should be in the description. Yeah, it is. So so where it says, enter the Air Jordan 1 Court Purple giveaway on IG, that's the link to my Instagram. But thank you, Cooper Fox, for dropping that in chat. I really appreciate it. Ooh, donation, I missed it. Okay, here we go. Uh, from Tanzila and Zari. Oh, it's good to see you again, man. Uh, Seth Fowler, are you ready to feast on some L's this morning? Every Saturday should be known as Organic L Breakfast with Seth. That's hilarious. I love that. Oh, I kind of want to change the title. <laughs> I'm going to screenshot that for future use. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. And thank you for the donation, too. That means a lot. Thank you so, 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 so much. I don't know why I had to say so so many times. I think I was trying to think of the next thing to say, and so I just kept saying so. God, I suck. Okay. Um, I should make sure I didn't miss any other donations. No, I didn't. Not as of yet, though. I usually miss at least one or two. Um, no Coke this morning. No. No, this morning we've got Gatorade. I'm going to be honest. I went to a virtual bachelor, bachelor party last night. Um, it was actually my own virtual bachelor party, which was fun. But um, it sucks that I wasn't actually able to be at my bachelor party right now, but it is what it is. Uh, but shout out to Ben for making it happen. I really appreciate it. But yeah, so I, <laughs> I forgot that I was doing a stream this morning, and I uh, got drunk by myself. It was pretty pathetic. But <laughs> I mean, not by myself. There's people on a screen, but it's not the same. Um, <laughs> so I feel terrible this morning, needless to say. Uh, Bodega Concepts and Noter dropped the New Balance at 10. Really? I love Bodega. Let's hit them up. I was using my laptop. Bo Diga. New arrivals. Here we go. BD BDGA store. Ooh, I like these hoodies. These are pretty sick. Okay. The new balances I would cop. The new balance I was I would definitely definitely cop. First come first serve, the product will release on the new arrivals page and brands collection page when available. New product is considered quick strike. Dope, okay. Which colorway is the more limited one? I mean, I'm sure they're both the same amount of limited, but which colorway is the one that people really want? I'm personally drawn to the orange one because I like how it's got like orange and green on it. Oops, shoot. But the green one's not bad either. Oh, they're also dropping the um, the linens too. Bodega might be the spot, to be honest with you. Here, let me pull up Bodega on my laptop so I can copy it on my laptop. I can't actually cop anything on my um, 
desktop because then you guys will see my shipping address and my credit card information. So I was kind of excited about not copying anything today because I didn't have to worry about it. I'm always like worried that I'm going to do something stupid and you guys are going to see something that you shouldn't see. Like I have to cancel a credit card or something. I don't know. But <laughs> okay, there we go. It's up on my laptop. Okay, I'm also missing some comments too. Hold up. Hold up. What's up, guys? Brad, Seth, Dusty Saturday Morning Fowler. Yeah, man, tell me about it. Delete Spears Fowler. <laughs> What's your hoodie? So my hoodie is the Air Jordan Paris Jumpman logo hoodie. It's sick. I, it's not like a Paris exclusive or anything. It was for the Paris St. Germain um, uh, collaboration. But I bought it in Paris because I went to Paris with the Easy Buster when I, whenever it dropped. And they had a couple sizes left, so I picked it up. But it was sold out everywhere in the U.S., which was kind of annoying. Um... Who won the giveaway? No one's won yet. No one's won yet. It ends on Wednesday, I believe. Whenever I posted, what video was it? Shoot, when did I announce it? <laughs> I should know this. Let's see. Um, I posted that video. Oop, I'm on the wrong channel. I think Wednesday. I think it ends on Wednesday. Let's see. Oh, it was Top 10 Summer Sneakers. That's when I first announced it. Uh, that was April 14th. That was four days ago. So there's three days left. I think it was... Damn, what day was April 14th? Let me know in the chat if you guys know. <laughs> um, Tuesday. It was Tuesday. So next Tuesday it ends. Tuesday the 20, 21st is when it ends. So stay tuned for that. And I think we'll announce the giveaway either that night or the next day. i um, not sure exactly how we're going to do that just yet. but Okay. Will you give away the linens? Probably not. Probably not. I kind of like them. Alba's haven't released in South Africa. Really? I'm surprised by that. Huh. Big ups from France. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Oh, I missed another super chat, didn't I? Yes, Jason Park. Thank you so much for the... Uh, I'm not sure what, what currency that is, but thank you so much. I really appreciate the donation. That means a lot. Thank you. Just make sure I didn't miss anything else. Nope. We good. Oh, just missed one. Here we go. From Bosco Lee. Go get Coke. Feel like you're going to get a W today. Damn, should I really? Should I get Coke? I don't have any of the good Coke left. The vanilla cherry Coke. It's my fa Actually, no. I just like vanilla Coke. That's my favorite Coke. My two favorite sodas are vanilla Coke and Dr. Pepper. Nathan, whoa. Thank you so much for the $30, man. I really appreciate that. Hey, Seth. Want to give a chat a tale of warning? Recently, a reseller contacted me on IG offering Alvis for $275. I got scanned pretty bad, and that's on me. But I just want people to be careful so that they don't do what I did. Wow, I appreciate that. Guys, t take note, man. You got to be really careful about buying things from not like places that aren't um, reputable. I'm not saying that that IG person isn't or wasn't reputable. I don't know who it was. Um, but usually I don't buy from from direct people to people anymore. I used to buy off like Facebook groups all the time, but I got scammed a couple times. Um, I really think you want to be really careful, especially when you're spending you know, something like $275. You want to be using StockX. You want to be using GOAT. You want to be trying to buy it retail. And I mean, that's really the only guaranteed way. And even then, like people are worried about StockX and GOAT getting fakes through. I've never had any issues with that. And I, I think it's very rare, but I'm sure it happens when you get that many shoes through. Um, the only place that you know for sure that you're getting a real sneaker is if you buy it directly from the source, like Adidas or Nike or whatever. Uh, bro, are you Malaysian? Part Malaysian, 25%. Um, can I get a shout out? I'm a pediatric nurse working. Oh, thank you so much for working. Appreciate it. Are you doing, um, uh, still doing foot stuff? Or are you doing, um, uh, the, I don't want to say it cause I don't want this, this video to be demonetized, but you know what I'm talking about. If you are, I appreciate you. Thank you for doing that. And even if you're not, thank you for being a pediatric nurse. Appreciate it. Uh, when did you start collecting sneakers? Oh man, years ago. Um, this collection... I don't know, like 2009, 2010? I don't have any too much crazy old stuff at all. When I when I started, I was basically just buying Vans and random like random Jordans here or there, but nothing crazy. Thoughts on the Yeezy slides? I actually did an unboxing video a couple weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago, on the slides. I don't remember when I dropped it, but if you go back a couple, a couple uh, I don't know, I was going to say 100 videos, but probably not, probably like maybe like, 40 videos or 30 videos, probably not even that, maybe 20, you'll find it. Actually, with with the fact that I've been dropping a video almost every single day for the last month and a half, it might have to be 30 or 40 videos. Um, you got a W on the cinders, that's awesome. Uh, oh shit, you're right, my bad, pediatric is kids, I'm so sorry man, I'm stupid as hell. 
podiatry. That is so my bad. I'm sorry about that. Well, thank you for doing what you're doing. I appreciate that. Um, first sneaker you remember loving. Oof. The first shoe that I really noticed that there was a huge amount of hype around besides like Jordans uh, was probably foams. Because I grew up just outside Baltimore. Um, I wasn't in the city. I was sort of in, not, eh, kind of in the suburbs. I worked in the suburbs. I worked I worked in Columbia, Maryland. And there was a, um, there was this huge release for like, I think it was the, what was it, the bronze foam posits? The copper foam posits. I remember when those first dropped and people were hype on them. And that's the first time I realized that Jordans weren't um, huge, um, weren't like the biggest sneakers dropping. Uh, thank you, Roman. I appreciate that. What site am I on? Oh, shoot. I am on Sneaker News, showing off where to buy the Yeezys at 10. We have 14 minutes left until they drop. Uh, Adidas.com is not dropping them. If you want to grab them, you've got 43 minutes left to grab them on the app, or at least sign up for um, registration. Right there, you can see. I don't know exactly when um, they announce winners. I know registration is closing in 43 minutes, but I don't know when they actually... Uh, do winners. Jason Park, thank you again for the donation. I really appreciate that. Greeting from Korea. Good luck and stay safe, everyone. True that. Stay safe, everyone, for sure. Thank you again for the donation, man. I appreciate that. Do you wear shoes at home? I'm not currently. And sometimes, this is going to be sad to tell you guys this, but sometimes I wear the uh, Chinatown Market Crocs that I got at Complex. <laughs> They're not actually as comfortable as I thought. I really thought that these would be comfortable. The, the thing I like about these is that because they've got these, like, I don't know what they are, like ribs or whatever in the uh, in the foot. Not in the foot. God, I am just so off today. Dude. It's ridiculous. They've got these ribs in the, um, I don't know, footbed. Damn, what is that? Insole? I don't know. But when you actually take them off and you walk on carpet, it feels weird. That's all I was trying to say. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to have to delete this stream. <laughs> this is a mess. Um, one of the first hype shoes you picked up. Hmm. I don't know. I was really trying to go for the... I remember one of the first campouts I did, because I didn't really start camping out till honestly, pretty late in the game. Um, was it the Bread 11s in 2012? Maybe. Or was it the... Was it the Air Jordan 5... Um, oh, no. Fresh Prince? I don't know. No, no, no. Um, I think it was... I think it was the Bread 11s. I didn't camp out much, and I still don't camp out much. Um, waiting room live for which one? Oh, for uh, Easy Supply. Hold up, EasySupply.com. Stupidvideos.com. Get updates. Which um, oh, Butterboy Nova was good, man. It's good to see you. Shout out to Butterboy Nova. He's awesome. I watch all his videos. You guys definitely got to check him out. He's the man. Um, hi, watching from Australia. Uh, are the drops region locked? Probably. Probably. I am on Yeezy Supply. I'm wondering why it's not popping up. Maybe I'm not clicking it. Yeah, still not. Oh, I am in the waiting room. Good call. How is that not in frame? Damn, okay. I got to adjust this really quick. This stupid Yeezy Supply website is so huge. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me fix this. Uh, display capture. Perfect. Zoom out. Oh, you know what? It's a big boy. I don't think I got any smaller. There we go. That's good enough. Now you guys can see. Perfect. Now you guys can see everything that I can see. Um, zebras or Zions? Probably the Zions. They're easier to wear. Hey, Seth, you like the Game Royal J1s? Uh, the ones that are dropping soon? I actually just got a notification from Goat saying that one of the sneakers that I'm watching is the... Speaking of the Devil. Speak of the Devil, not Speaking of the Devil. God damn, I was just off today, man. Um, are you talking about these ones? I just got a notification about these guys. Uh, apparently there's a pair in stock. Oh, there's a bunch of pairs in stock on Goat. 450 though is kind of steep. Um, I wonder if StockX has them. I'd buy these early for a review, for show. Let's see what the StockX price is. I don't know if I'd keep them because I don't love that kind of color blocking on the Jordan 1s, even though I love the Jordan 1s. But I would definitely do a review, for show. And Jordan 1, Royal Toe, I think they're called. 
Royal t That's what Goat has in Royal Toe. Apparently not on StockX, though. Apparently they're just called probably Game Royal. Game Royal. Nope, not Game Royal. Damn. What are they? Air Jordan 1. Let's go to the release calendar. That's probably the move. Um, so May 9th is when they're dropping. I'm really excited about the Fear of God Triple Blacks if they actually drop. I hope that shoe drops. Um, let's see. May 1st, May 2nd, May 9th. They are the Game Royals. Black Game Royal. Okay. Uh, wow, prices aren't terrible. 375 I wonder if I order it today if I'd get it in before the drop time. Possibly. I might actually order a pair. Good call. Um... Let's see, did I miss any other Super Chats? Doesn't look like it. Good. Uh, favorite Jordans you want to have? Oof, that's tough. I really want the Fragments, the Fragment ones. I should have bought them when I had the chance, when they were only like a thousand. Um, I don't know, I'm pretty content. I'm pretty content with my collection. I don't really need any more, <laughs> to be honest, in general, so... I don't know. But, I'll keep buying. Because I'm addicted. What else we got? Hello, Seth. I watch your videos, and I really like the vibe you gave me. Keep growing. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Top three Yeezy 350s this year. Oof. The linens are dope. We all like the linens, I think. Um, uh, the cinders, I really like. Cinder reflectives, I like. Say that 3M stripe. Um, I don't really care that they're reflective. It doesn't bother. Like, they're reflective. The fact that they're more limited because they're reflective, I just think it's kind of dumb. Um, but they have to keep the hype going somehow. Uh, so the cinder reflectives I like because I like the 3M stripe. The linens are nice. I like them better in pictures, like the picture on this website, than I do in real life. And then there was the other ones. What was the other one? There's a bunch that dropped, right? Um, the Earths I actually really like. I was surprised by how much I like the Earths. Favorite collaboration you own? Probably, I have a signed pair of off-white uh, Chicago ones. Those are probably my favorite, just because I like the shoe a lot. I love the collaboration. I think Virgil did a great job, and he also signed them, so... That's got to be my favorite. What mic do you use? I use a blue. It's like the classic streaming mic. It's not amazing. It's not bad. It's not what I use for my videos. I use a uh, Sennheiser um, shotgun mic that like hangs over my set, but I don't remember what it's called. It's like the MKH-46 something. Um, any ideas on stock numbers? I have no idea. Goat informed me about some Animal Crossing. Dude, I got that Animal Crossing notification too last night during my virtual bachelor party and everyone called me an idiot. Which is fair, because um, I don't know why I was so hyped about some Dior Animal Crossing BS, <laughs> but I was. Um, thoughts on the Zebra restock? Is there another one? Uh, I mean, great. Everyone who wants a Zebra can hopefully get a pair of Zebras. So I really want to see what the deal is with these Casablanca... New balances. I want to see which one's going for more. I feel like it's going to be the orange one. I could be wrong. No, Casablanca. Let's see. Because the orange is more interesting, to be honest with you. At least in my opinion. Two ninety eight. Oh wait, that's a low price. So for size nine, three seventy nine. Wow, it's more expensive than I thought. Um, and the green pair in a size nine, three forty nine. So similar priced. I I really like the orange pair a lot. I think it's sick. Thoughts on three percent buyer fees on StockX. What you gonna do? Um, I don't like it, but I don't hate it. I, I wonder if they actually took out three percent. They have three percent seller fees in addition to like shipping and stuff. So I wonder if they move that over to the buyer. I don't know. I haven't sold anything on StockX in a minute, but who knows? Let's see. Okay, so are we through on this? Do not refresh page. Okay. You forgot Desert Sage. I do like the Desert Sage. It's a good call on that one. I completely forgot about them. Download Aglet. It's great fun. That's true. I've been using it. Does Yeezy Supply ship to Europe? Uh, I'm not sure. Zebras are an Asia exclusive. Hmm. Your thoughts on Oreos Yeezys? Oh, the Oreo Yeezys I like, but they don't drop until December, I think. Oh, man. Your thoughts on the replica community? Not a fan. Not a fan. Are you and Tom having a baby? Yes, I didn't want to announce it yet, but you got me. Uh, my fiance's pissed. <laughs> How do you feel on the blue trophy room fives? I think they're so fire, man. I was so, I was so stupid not buying them when they were like four hundred bucks. They were like four hundred bucks for a while too, 
And Kais even made a video. He's like, these are going to go up. And I'm like, no, they're not. And then they friggin' did, man. He called it. I was pissed. <laughs> Speaking of Butterboy Nova, actually, from earlier, he had a couple pairs of those that he got for retail. And I don't know if, I don't know, if you're still in the chat, let me know if you sold them or not. Um, how do you feel on the... Oh, I already answered that one. Do you have any advice on where to get replacement off-white laces? I honestly wouldn't know where to go for that. Um, I wouldn't know. What shoe do you regret letting go from Jerome Lee? Hmm. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot, to be honest with you. I think the shoe that I made the stupidest decision on was I had a pair of the OG 750s back in 2015 when they dropped. And I had a size 13, which was kind of a shitty size, but it was, you know... It was still an OG 750. I sold it the same weekend to Flight Club. Actually, it might have even been the same day to Flight Club for $750. I bought it for $350, sold it for $750. I think I only made like $100 bucks because uh, Flight Club fees are kind of rough. Um, I literally, I, I picked it up in maybe Times Square. I don't know. Yeah, it was a Times Square uh, Champs I picked it up at. Maybe it's Foot Locker. I don't know. Mario Vale, thank you so much for the 99 cents, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Um, so I picked it up. I took it home. Showed it to my fiance. She was like, those are ugly. And I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, and then I was going back to Philly to hang out with her family. Because um, she came out to visit and then we were both going to go down to Philly. Um, and so on the way back, I was like, I need to just get rid of these because I can't take these to Philly with me. Um, and I did. And it was stupid because then a year later, they were going for like $3,000. <laughs> so I could have put a nice, I don't know, I could have bought a car with that, dude. Um... I'm going to organize the biggest bachelor party for you. Four words, New York isn't ready. <laughs> oh, man. You should buy the Jordan 6 for your wife. Ah, she might like that. Who's your favorite Ravens player? Lamar Jackson, my friend. He's turning this team around. I mean, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of great players on the team. Um, Hollywood Brown is pretty excellent. I didn't realize that Holly, Hollywood Brown was um, A.B.'s cousin. I had no idea. I mean, Brown's a pretty common last name, so I didn't put it together. But apparently they're cousins. Kind of crazy. Should Adidas retire the 350s? I don't think so. I think the 350s are finally making the money. Because if you guys know, um, for a long time, uh, Yeezy, the Yeezy brand, I guess, wasn't making any money at all. And I feel like the 350s are definitely part of the reason that they're making a bunch of money now. Because they're making a bunch of them and people keep buying them. Hey, Seth, just tuned in from Jamie. What's good, man? Thank you for tuning in. Tuning in. Uh, Yeezy Quantum Basketball Thoughts. I love that shoe. I think it's dope. It's, it's kind of weird, but I rock with it. Definitely. And I want to grab the basketball version that comes out in May. Um, Mario, thank you again for another donation. I appreciate that. What shoe do you like most out of the DMPs dropping? Or the 2019 Infrared? Hmm. Well, the DMPs, I should... You'd think that I would say the DMPs because I like black and gold. And, and that's what I th thought originally. But there's something about that Infrared, black, and red. So I don't know. I'll say DMPs, because I'd probably wear the DMPs more, to be honest with you. They are sick, man. They're really sick. Okay, let's see how this Yeezy thing is going. I bet you they just haven't opened up sales yet. Mm. Kith and Noter dropping Casablanca in one minute. Yes, yeah, so is Bodega. Let's go to Kith, though. Kith. I bet they're dropping the Yeezys, too. Kith. I wonder if the Casablancas would get a, like, would do well review-wise. I have a feeling no one, people who don't know about them don't care. I care. <laughs> but I have a feeling. I got a feeling. Do, do, do. Let's see. Sneakers. Sneakers. Um, I don't see them yet. I bet they're going to drop right at 10. I'll keep refreshing. And these are the rude, oh, the rude recess. $595. Get the, get out of here. That's crazy. They're being crazy. Okay, so let's see. Anything with the Yeezy Boost? Nope, nothing. Actually, I realized, can you guys actually see? Oh, the screen is working. Perfect. Cool. Sorry, I'm just flipping through stuff. <laughs> um, just making sure everything's working. So we can close down this Adidas window, because we all know it doesn't mean anything. Uh... We will check out Nordstrom's. It's where to click. Oh, let's do um, men's. And let's do... Where? Sneakers. Sneakers. Sneakers Athletic. Here we go. I did not hit women's. I hit men's. Did I hit women's? If I bet. By accident. 
They still got the Comme des Garcons Converses. Let's see. I mean, those never really sell out. They keep restocking those. Um, brand. Is that Yeezy? Adidas? Uh, they don't have Yeezy. They just have Adidas. I wonder if I click on Adidas if it'll be all Adidas or just... Hmm. Hmm. Is it 10 yet? 10 o'clock, boys. It's about to go down. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to try for these Casablancas. Oh, Yeezys are available on Kith right now. If you guys want to go for them on Kith. Right here. I bet you there's a bunch in stock, to be honest with you. I wouldn't be surprised. So Yeezys are available on Kith. Um, I'm going to try and grab these uh, Casablancas. Footwear. I'm going to do it on my laptop, though, so that you guys can't see my info. Here we go. Quick view. Ah, oh, they're all sold out. What? That was quick as hell. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Damn, that was quick. Okay, well, that sucks. Um, thanks, Bodega. There's still a size 7.5 in the greens, but that doesn't even close to fit me. The Air Jordan 6s, they got every size, it looks like. Um, I just got a text message from DTLR. Great, thanks for telling me about the Jordan 6s that I'm... I already know we're dropping. I'm sitting at a computer trying to grab them. <laughs> Damn, I'm kind of bummed about those Casablancas. So they're just straight up gone. They're not even on the new arrivals page anymore because they're completely sold out. Is that serious? That's crazy. Footwear. Okay, whatever. Uh, still not through on Yeezy Supply. Let's check out Nordstrom, see if they got these Yeezys. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm making ridiculous noises. I think it's just because I don't have anything to say. Um, men's. Here we go. Oh, Jordans. Nice. Where is Yeezys at, though? Where is Yeezys at? Let's see. Is Kith still. Oops. Does Kith still have anything in stock? They really do, huh? That's crazy. Let's do a size. Let's do a size nine. Add to cart. That was no problem on Kith. If you guys are trying to cop Yeezys, Kith looks pretty easy. Now it's possible that they're gonna kind of like hold me up when it gets to um payment processing, but it seems as though they're not. And this shoe is not gonna be difficult to grab. Oh, dude, hide a man. Yep, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Uh, let's see, the Air Jordan 6s, they're still, oh, Air Jordan 6s are sold out on Bodega, or almost sold out, that's kind of crazy, let's see what they're doing on Nike, still got a lot of sizes, oh no, size 12 and a half is gone, um, I closed down Bodega, didn't I, damn, well, just, <laughs> just know that they're gone on Bodega, or they're almost gone, there's only a size 8 and a half, 10, 10 and a half, and 11 and a half left. Jordan DMP adding to cart at Athletes Foot. Man, I know where you got the hoodie. Yeah, I got it from um, the Jordan store in Paris, actually. StockX or Goat? I, I use both. You grabbed the women's pair? I did. I know. Wait, what? Did I really grab a Kith women's pair? Am I that stupid? I might have. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up might have. Oh, man. I was in the men's section, though. Oh, Eli Witten, thank you so much for the donation. Hey, I've been into sneakers for a while now, and I was wondering if I should cop some Travis Scott 4s. Any thoughts? If you'd like to drop the money on some Travis Scott 4s, more power to you. They're dope sneakers. They're just, to be honest, like construction-wise, they're kind of just the same as, as um, standard 4s. The materials are the same anyways. They look good, and if you like them, go for them, but they are expensive. So just make sure you're spending your money wisely. Um... Marco Palinar, thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate that. Was able to cop DMP from Titan in the Philippines. Oh, I went to the I went to the Titan store in is it BGC BGE BGC? I'm not sure, um, but it was dope. It's a dope store. Weirdly enough, it's sitting at the moment practically full size run and still available. Really? Huh? Surprised by? Oh shoot. Well, got through on Kith. Kith is the move apparently. Size 9 men's. So I know for a fact it's size 9 men's because it was a 10 and a half women's. Um, yeah, if you guys want Yeezys, Kith is the move, it seems like. I'm sure there's a lot of other places you guys can go, but... Um, 
Let's see. Let's see if Shoe Pal still got these boys. So we have these boys. Tovik, thank you so much for the donation. Wow, that took forever to load. Do they still have full sizes too? Size 9, add to cart. Did it add or no? Tovik, another cheeky two pounds, mate. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Cheeky as hell. That's dope. <laughs> oh, I'm in the waiting room for these uh, Shoe Palace ones. To the 1,300 and 2080 you guys that are in the chat, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit that like button if you haven't yet. And also, make sure to enter the Air Jordan 1 Core Purple giveaway that I did last week. Um, or that I actually bought last week on a live stream. So this is a size 10 that I bought, bought off Finish Line. You guys can actually watch the live stream if you want. Um, it's literally last Saturday's Yeezy Alva and Core Purple live stream. Um, and I said if I got them, I'd give them away. So I'm giving them away. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel. Then click that link at the top of the description, which takes you to my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. And then comment done underneath the image or the picture that I posted maybe four days ago of the core purples. You guys will know which picture it is because it's a picture of the core purples like tied to a fence. And also, there's a bunch of people commenting done underneath it. Uh, the giveaway should end Tuesday night. And uh, it'll be random selection. So everyone's got a good chance. And it ships anywhere. Like I, Whoever I pick is going to get it shipped to them. Hopefully there won't be too much, too many issues with shipping during this craziness, but we'll see what happens. If you win, you'll get your shoes somewhere, somehow. It might be a couple months down the road, depending on, you know, if, if your country's locked down. I don't know, um, but we'll see. Uh, make sure to like the stream. Thank you, Cooper. I appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. I've done that twice now. Which one have I done twice? Uh... Sito the Goat, thank you so much. Big fan, Seth, you the goat. I just got an easy win on Eblins.com for the DMC, DMP sixes. I really look up to you. Hope to meet you one day. Thank you so much, Sito. First of all, thank you for the donation. Thank you for supporting the channel. I really appreciate that. And uh, I'd, yeah, I'd love to meet you, man. That's awesome. And good looks on the DMPs, too. I've never actually heard of Eblins.com. Um, Jimmy, create an Instagram. Super, it, is, it is really easy to uh, create an Instagram. Thank you, Cooper. I appreciate that. Thoughts on the Smoke Gray Air Jordan 1s. I'm trying to think of which ones those are. I can't think of it at the top of my head. Oh, didn't get through on Shoe Palace. We'll try again, I guess. I mean, I'm still good on Kith. I mean, I bet you that... Well, let's refresh. We'll see what happens. Am I still good? I'm still good. Okay. Kith might be the move, boys. And ladies. Um, no product. All right. Let's see, men, sneakers, sort by newest, really, that's weird, okay, well, screw Nordstrom's, because it doesn't look like they have anything, even though they said that they did, um, let's see, uh, DTLR, should have some, snipes, Let's see what the uh, DMPs are doing on Nike's website. Full size run. Not full size run. Ah, it's a sign in. I'm not going to sign in. Damn, okay. So it looks like DMPs are still doing all right. There's still pairs available. Let me check on the sneakers app. I wasn't surprised that there was a lot of DMPs available because whenever you see a lot of sneaker YouTubers dropping reviews early, you know that it's really easy to get the shoe. So, and that's no shade to anybody at all. It's just, it's the truth. Um, if you see like seven people dropping a review in one week of a shoe, you know it's not going to be hard to get because stores aren't, they're not being told by a brand to like keep, keep their stock, I don't know, keep it on lockdown or whatever. And also like if that many people are able to get a sneaker, it means there's a lot of stores that have it, which is good. Um, yeah, they still got sizes available. Available. Oh, they just added the triple black, uh, fear of gods to the, uh to the sneakers app. I didn't expect that at all. I really thought that these were going to get pushed. Damn, that's crazy. I'm really trying to grab those. Those are fire. They're real fire. Still started on Yeezy. Did it really? Let's check. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. Sale started. There we go. Hi from South Africa. I wish I could have met, uh, met you in New York while I was on holiday. Uh, last year, September, big fan. Thank you so much, Imram. Thank you so much, or Im 
Yeah, Imran. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate that. Are you a PSG fan or you just like the hoodie? I just like the hoodie. I just like the hoodie. I'm like, sneakers is a raffle. It's pending for you. Is it really still? It's still 10 minutes in. Seth, notice me. I'm from Asia. What's up, Shadow Walker? Let's see. Anything new on these websites? Let's see if I'm still good on Kith. Oh, size 9 sold out in Kith within 10 minutes. I could have grabbed it. Maybe I should have. I don't know. But I'm not trying to resell. Nothing wrong with it. I just, I would lose money. I'm terrible. <laughs> I tried to resell years ago, back in 2000, probably two, in college. So 2010 to 2014, I tried it. But I was so bad. I, like I said, I never camped out. Lost all the raffles. And then when I did win raffles, it was for trash. It was for like the Phoenix Sun 8s. And then it was a pair of um, Jordan 11 Lows, which I ended up not picking up because I didn't think they were going to sell. And now they're worth it. It was Tuxedo 11 Lows. I didn't pick them up in the end. Hi from Malaysia. What's up, Marcus? What shoes are you waiting on this year? To be honest with you, a lot of the shoes that I wanted are, are out. Cinders or Alvas? I kind of like the Alvas more. But the Cinders are dope, too. Uh, let's see what else we got. What's your opinion on where high fashion is at the moment? I don't have too much of an opinion. I'm not very fashionable other than sneakers, so I wouldn't be the right person to ask. I don't mind it. It's going sort of in a streetwear direction, so that's kind of cool, I guess. DMP sixes aren't loading for me on the Nike website. You have to go to um, nike.com slash launch or use your sneakers app. Wow, sizes are moving on. So size nine is gone. Size nine and a half is still there. 10, 10 and a half, 11, 12. Hey, Seth, what's your favorite Yeezy of all time? What's up, Anthony? Um, probably the Nike Air Yeezy ones in the Zen colorway. I really like that colorway a lot. Was Joe Flacco really an elite QB? Damn, going there, huh? Uh, he won us the Super Bowl. You could argue that it's not all because of him, which is fair. Uh, he's no... I love Flacco. I like Flacco. But Lamar Jackson's our future, so. Alvis or Azales? Um, hmm... I guess as ALs. Thoughts on the skunk dunks, the ones that are dropping in 420. Whew, trying to grab those. Those are fire. I like purple a lot. Raven's purple, baby. Uh, are you friends with Kais? Yeah, absolutely. He's a good guy. Linen or Desert Sage? Uh, <laughs> Desert Sage. Oh, uh, Linen. If Linen was tan. Um, DMPs are bricks. They might be, but they're a fire sneaker. Opinions on the SB Dunk Ben and Jerry's. I like them a lot. I do. They're crazy. I wouldn't wear them much, but I think they're dope. I've had bad luck lately on sneakers, but somehow manually copped the New Balance 327 green on Concepts. How did you do that? That went out so quick. Favorite Jordan 4, go Ravens. Let's go. Um, favorite Jordan 4, probably the White Cement. Thank you, Sujan. Appreciate that. Sixers. Sixers and Ravens. Those are my teams. Um, best sizes for resale on the linens. I have no idea. Um, keep or resale DMPs. I don't think they're going to resell for much, so I'd probably keep them. I mean, if you're buying them, keep, buy them to keep them, not to resell. Uh, are you a Ravens fan? Absolutely. Yo, Seth, I just copped both the Yeezys and the DMP on foot action. Website is acting weird now, but DMP is still showing up on East Bay Finish Line and Foot Locker. Thank you for the update. That's awesome. Um, what do you think about Fear of God Converse Natural Ivory? Uh, is that the, the cream pair? I like those a lot. I actually have the... Um, the gray pair, which I got from another live stream a couple weeks back. It's dope. I wore it once for a video, and I haven't been able to take it outside since. So The pair that I have been wearing outside a lot is the... Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> the Syracuse Dunks. I've been wearing these a ton to walk the dog. You guys can't really see the creasing in there. It's not... I'm, I go on, like, five-minute walks each day. It's not even that serious. But I love rocking these. Um... How can you say DMPs are bricks 15 minutes after launch? True that. Um, Hibbit still has a ton of DMPs. Dope. Hi, Seth. Love your videos and content. Thank you so much, Lunar X. Appreciate that. What do you think about the Nike Air Max 2070 React Travis Scotts? I like them. I think the painting on the bottom is stupid, and I think they're going to be a pain in the ass to get. But I'm going to try and get a pair to show you guys a review. We'll see what happens. Now, let me show you guys really quickly what's dropping on sneakers, which they just added, which I'm very excited about, which is, in fact... Fear of Gods, which I really, really, really thought was going to get pushed. I, I would have bet money on the fact that they were going to get pushed, but no. They are, in fact, dropping on 425 at 10 a.m. 425, is that a Saturday? I'll have to do a live stream for those, too. That's next Saturday. It's a week from today. 
Oh, I want these so bad for a review and just to have. Maybe easy to rock. But let's check resale prices on them, actually. Let's check to see if Stadium Goods has them. Which is actually where I got my um, linens with Stadium Goods. Because no one else had them early. They got the DMPs. Still got the linens. DMPs are going for how much on Stadium? Let's see. 275 275 So $75 over retail. Um, Yeezy Cinder or Butter? Oh, Cinder for sure. Sale on hold on Yeezy Supply. Really, why? Sale, why would the sale be on hold? Are they trying to take out bots? <laughs> Is that what's happening? Honestly, if you guys wanted the Yeezys, Kith would have been the move. Kith had them for a minute, and it was easy to, to get through, and no problems. Try again. Let's try Shoe Supply. Or Shoe, not Shoe Supply. Shoe Palace again. Okay, let's see. Um, Alvas have gone up in price. That's annoying. I kind of wanted to buy another pair. But not four hundred dollars. Absolutely not. Four fifty, which is actually the price. I bought my pair for the video for five hundred, and then I sold it because I was trying to recoup some losses. And then I was like, "Damn, I should have kept it because I like it." But I'm not going to spend another four hundred dollars on it. It's just not worth it. What am I looking for? Oh, fear of gods. Fear of gods. They're probably not going to have them, but worth a check. There we go. Yeah, they don't have the new pair. Oh, the friends and family pair is sick. Holy crap. Only 1500 for a size 10 for the friends and family pair? Is that serious? That's cheap. What? Damn, that's crazy. Okay, so let's go to StockX. I bet it doesn't have a box or something. Let's see what they're going for in StockX. What do you think of Off-White collabs? Um, I think they're dope. I like them. The, some of the recent ones have been kind of boo-boo, but other than that, um, lockdown hitting us hard in the Philippines. All Yeezys, all last Yeezys that was launched locally was Desert Sage. Damn. Yeah, nothing's lo uh, launched locally over here either. All the stores are closed, um, which is the right thing to do, so you can't be mad at it. Um, Fear of God 1. Oh man, I had this yellow pair. And it's three. God damn. I had it. They canceled my my order. I was at Complex Con last year. I bought it in a size 8.5. I didn't get a size. Size 8.5 is even more. That's annoying. So they canceled my order. Actually, I can show you on the sneakers app. For no reason. Absolutely no reason they canceled my order. It sucked. Let's see. Um, I'll show you guys in the purchase list. Here you go. Is it going to show you my order number or is it not going to? Yeah, see, it's, well, it says purchased right there. But they canceled it, so I didn't friggin' get it. I couldn't believe it. And no one else I knew got canceled. People were using bots on the sneakers app. I didn't know you could do. Especially not on a... Well, they maybe they weren't using bots. They knew exactly when the drop was going to be. Um... And I didn't, and I got him, and then I freaking got screwed. It sucks. Um, <laughs> F, dude, F in the chat for show. Uh, real question, do the Ravens win the Super Bowl if the power doesn't go out? Oh, 100%. That's the thing. We were winning, and then the power went out, and then we <laughs> we started losing. Well, we never, I don't think we ever lost, we're losing. I don't remember the score exactly, but we won at the end. That's all that matters. Um... There it is. Damn, a lot of Fs in the chat. Guys, make sure to like the uh, the stream if you haven't yet. It really helps out a lot. I appreciate it. Ooh, six six forty five is not terrible. It wouldn't get here in time though. That's the thing. It would not get here in time for a review. All use these pushed back till after lockdown. Really, Phase Chicken. Thank you so much for the donation, man. I really appreciate that. Love your vids. Keep uh keep up your grind. And never give up. And F sneakers. Damn. That's real. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching, too. Um, to the 1,484 of you guys in the chat. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate that. And guys, let me know if you guys are getting W's or L's or whatever letter you guys are getting. It looks like, yeah, like someone said that the, um, the Yeezy Supply Yeezys are on hold for some reason. Not sure why. Damn. 
Tampa 2021 Super Bowl champion. Really? Because of Tom Brady? That old guy? <laughs> uh, trust the process. True that. Sixers. If we ever get a basketball season back this year. We'll see. I was supposed to go to one. I was supposed to go to the last game of the season two days ago. Was it two days ago? Two days ago. But, of course, it's canceled. Sneakers app is whack. Yeah, sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. I don't think I'd be able to get these on the sneakers app. Especially after that yellow BS. So. W on the DMP is nice. <laughs> Q. Chris, thank you so much for the donation. Chris Hans, Chris Hans Barger. I just woke up literally less than three minutes ago and you decided to donate to me, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you for supporting the channel. That's awesome. Uh, linen are sold out in Adidas. That doesn't surprise me. That does not surprise me at all. Um, did anyone get them on Adidas? I feel like these weren't that hard to get. Let's see what the resale price is right now. I feel like they really weren't that hard to get at all. Um, let's just see. Size 9. 290, excuse me, 293. That's actually higher than I would have expected. Much higher. 8.5. Pretty high. Damn. It's a dope shoe, but it's like... I don't need two pairs. <laughs> My right ear is hurting right now. You got both. That's awesome. We're going to do another sneaker collection video. I did one three months ago, so I think it's a little too soon, but if you want to check that one out, definitely can. I will do one probably if this lockdown continues, probably sooner than later. We'll see. Do you like the strawberry cough dunks? I do. Do you recommend any bots? James, I don't actually uh, use bots. I mean, obviously. <laughs> like, I haven't gotten anything. Um, no, but I, I don't know any. I really don't. What shoeboxes do you use? I use the Container Store ones. They sponsored a couple videos and sent over some shoeboxes, and I use them, and they're great. I really like them. They're, they are a little pricey, but they're worth it. Got a W on Champs for the 60s. Let's go. Thank you, Henry. I love you, too. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so Yeezy Supply is still on hold. What well, carts are still busy? Let's try this again. Add a cart. Damn. Are the DMPs sold out? I'm not sure. I think they might be on sneakers. Let's see. Nike sneakers. Launch. Here we go. Launch. Uh, yes. They're sold out in sneakers. Within 20 minutes. Not too bad. I'm actually... I'm not surprised, but I'm not... I'm surprised they sold out that fast, to be honest. I knew they were going to sell out, or I thought they would sell out, but I didn't know it was going to be within 20 minutes. I thought it would probably be like a, I don't know, like a hour thing. Our fear of God true to size. Uh, thank you so much for the donation, JS Riding with Jesus. Um, kind of, when you get your foot into them, kind of, they do run a little bit narrow, so if you have wider feet, probably go up half a size. I think moving on in the future, I probably will try and grab a half size up because... Um, it is kind of a bummer to put your foot into the shoe. So I'm going to go for a 9.5 even though I'm a 9, but you can definitely get away with a 9. I had t three pairs of 9s in the past, and they were all fine. Um, it really depends on if you have wider feet or not. Um, I'm a big fan, so I'm willing to sell you the Jordan Union for 250 I appreciate that, man. I actually I already got both pairs, but thank you. Nathan S., thank you again for the donation, man. Thank you so much for supporting the channel so much. Any idea on why some sizes, I'm a size 13, resell for a lot more than others? Also, thoughts on the Puma, Puma Clyde Court Disrupts. I think people sleep on them. Um, I think certain sizes they make less of. I think size 13s they make less pairs of because there's fewer. Then again, in the U.S. there's not. There's a lot of size 13s. But I think they do make fewer pairs in the larger sizes and in the very small sizes. Um, I think size 9 through 10.5 they make the most pairs of. Maybe 9, 9 through like 11. Um... Also, thoughts on Puma Clyde Court Disrupts. I like them. I do like them. Um, hold on. Let me see what colorways they got. Puma Clyde. I don't know which ones. I have I have the Peace on Earths. I had these guys. I gave them to a friend. I had the OG colorway. I gave that to a friend. I think my favorite colorway is probably the Peace on Earth. I actually, they, they sent me that pair for um, my engagement, <laughs> which is sick. And I actually wear them every so often. I'm surprised there aren't too many sizes available. Huh. It's a dope sh it's a dope shoe. I do like it. I agree that they are slept on. Some colorways kind of suck. Like I don't like this one. 
Like, that kind of sucks. But other than that, I think they're a good shoe. Cinder or Tail Light? Probably a Cinder for me. Tail Lights look so much like the pair that dropped a couple years ago. Seth, do you still have your Yeezy slides? I don't. I don't. I did a video on them and then sold them. I wasn't a huge fan. They're not bad. I just... I don't. I never wear slides. I only wear my Crocs. <laughs> my Crocs in the house. That's about it. And I have some slides from Adidas that... Like, I've, I bought... Actually, I'll show you guys. Some of you guys who were around for 250,000 subscribers uh, saw the 250,000 subscriber live stream where I made these. So I have these slides. Um, they're the YouTube colors. 250k subs is what they say. Hold up. 250k subs. There you go. <laughs> Actually, I was inspired by Kais to do this because back when he was... I don't know. It was years ago. He used to do... Um, for every like milestone, he would do like an, a Nike ID. And I was like, that's a cool idea. Damn, I really beat up my finger for some reason. I don't know what happened. Um, have you seen the AJ13 Soulfly? I have not, actually. The Ray Got Games? Are they recent or are they old? If they're old, probably. If they're recent, probably not. Soulfly 13s. Miami Marlins. I don't know. Uh, what was the checkout final price on the MC? I'm not sure. Chris, thank you again for the donation. Hans Burger. Barger. Hans Barger. I'm lucky you got a size 10. That's awesome. Same size as the Core Purple giveaway. Smirk emoji. That's awesome. Um, thank you again for the donation. I really appreciate that. You're the man. Thank you for supporting the channel. That's good. Hey, man, if you win, you can wear them. Some people can't. That's awesome. Um, if you guys haven't yet, make sure to enter the giveaway. I'm going to promote it one last time. And probably maybe once again before the stream ends. I got these on the stream last week. The Core Purple Jordan 1s in a size 10. Got them off the finish line. If you guys want to see me cop them, thanks to you guys. I forget who it was, but someone donated and said, they're still available on finish line. I was like, you're lying. And then they were. So thank you to him. Um, got them. Size 10. The way to enter is subscribing to the channel, following me on Instagram, which is linked in the top of the description, and then commenting done underneath the picture of these shoes, uh, the most recent one. And you'll see a bunch of people commenting done, but that's it. Super easy. And then the winner will probably be announced Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, if I win, sign him. Hey, if that's what you guys want. But I'm only going to do it if someone specifically asks. I'm not going to ruin someone's shoes for them, especially if it's not their size. If it's not their size, then they, they should sell that and get their own size. Um, Stock X or Goat? Both work. Both work fine. I use both. I really do. Consistently both. Um, Hi, I'm from Slovenia. If you know where this is, and I want to tell you what your reviews are great. Thank you so much. I do know where Slovenia is, generally, where it is. Um, thank you for watching, too. I appreciate it. Um, yo, when are my Origin sneakers arriving? I got the number pair. Probably, we've had a lot of production issues because of what's going on in the world and the factories being shut down. So, um, we're still on, generally on time to hit the May, the May date. We're thinking mid-May to end of May. Um, as of right now, we wanted to get them out end of April, but, and we weren't going to tell people that because we weren't sure if it was going to happen. Probably not going to happen. Um, so we're still on track to be mid-May, end of May. Um, I'll keep you guys posted with videos. I actually did just get a production pair in, or almost a production pair in yesterday from uh, the factory that has the signature on the back. It's still a little high. I want to lower it a little bit, but, um, and it's also, it's also in the insole too, but I'm dropping a review on these tomorrow probably. So stay tuned for that. But like I said, unfortunately, um, pairs probably are not going to go out till mid-May, till end of May, like we thought. So we're still on track. Just I would have liked to have had them out sooner. But you never know there's going to be a worldwide pandemic that pushes back your wedding and ruins a lot of your social events and sneaker releases. Um, it is what it is. DMP still available at Foot Locker. That's awesome. Did you get the sixes and do you like them? I haven't actually, uh, but I do like them. I cop linen from Adidas Tokyo. They still have pairs, and it's been 18 hours. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. No more bypass for easy supply? I have no idea. Oh, I'm back in the waiting room. The sale has restarted. I'm going to order some breakfast really quick because I'm starving. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Uh, what kind of breakfast could I get? Oh, it's 10.28.9. Damn. Let's see what sort of food they got in Grubhub. Haven't used Grubhub in a minute. I really, it's been a minute. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll use Postmates. I don't know. 
Um, is the Adidas app down for everyone? I haven't tried it actually, but I know that they're sold out in the U.S. at least. Yeezy supply sale is live again. That's dope. Thoughts on the one four twenty skunk dunks? I like them. Caught my linens from Adidas to Oh, I already read that one. Uh, are you using, are you using the dude from MySpace? What was his name? Um, damn, I don't remember his name. That as your as your thumbnail, Tom is it Tom from MySpace? Man, it's been a minute since I thought about MySpace. Um, how much do you think the Nike Air Max seven twenty Travis Scotts will resell for? I don't know, but let's check because I I would like to buy a pair for a review, but they're really expensive right now, at least on Goat Instant Ship. I don't think I don't think they even have pairs on Goat Instant Ship to be honest. Travis. Air Max, two seventy for your boy. Ah, they're expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. It's so stupid. Oh man, these people don't even have pairs. They're just listing them so much because they think like, oh well, if it sells, I can, I can get a pair, no problem. No, you can't. Even if you sold it for that much, you'd be screwed. Um, what do you think about the Yeezy Zions? I think they're dope. You're gonna have to wait some time before they drop, though. I think they don't drop until June or July. Which Yeezy V2s are your favorite? Um, the black red stripes, I think, or the uh, statics. The two pairs that I kept. Or the belugas, honestly. I, I hated them when I first saw them. But it's one of those things, I think it's a mob mentality where I just got really into them. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast, bro. Oh, that's a good call. I'm so hungry, dude. I've been streaming for, what, an hour? Okay, an hour. So I'm going to stream until about an hour and ten minutes because I think most things are sold out by this point. Um, and if you guys still want to go for them, go for Yeezy Supply. But I think most things are sold out. Um, I also have to film some videos today, unfortunately. So, not unfortunately. I'm happy to film videos. But, I'm just, like I said, I had a rough night last night. So, I'm not feeling too great. <laughs> That's what the Gatorade is for. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching, by the way. To the 1,300 of you guys that are still here, make sure to hit that like button. Or dislike. I don't care. Either one. doesn't matter. Um, but I would appreciate a like. It would mean more to me if you guys hit the like. <laughs> Um, you can get a size 10 Travis Scott 270 for 580 on GOAT. You're lying. Does it have a box? I would cop that. The one thing that I'm worried about with GOAT is that I bought from I bought from GOAT Instant Ship recently, and that's been great. I I tried to buy on GOAT Regular, but... No, no, I sold something on GOAT Regular, but it took like five days to authenticate it. It was crazy. So I, I'm hesitant to buy on GOAT right now. I did use StockX and they shipped it out like that. So right now I think StockX might be the move, but usually I use GOAT, especially if it's instant ship. Um, but it just depends on the situation. Oh man, inspired by Animal Crossing, the Dior collection. Let's go. If you guys want to watch my Twitch streams where I Twitch stream Animal Crossing, make sure to follow me on, on Twitch. It's uh, Twitch Seth Fowler. This is sick. They've got Gucci. Pretty dope. Okay. Um, I'm looking for these Travis Scotts. Travis. Here we go. Oh, they are cheaper. Yeah, so it doesn't have a box, I don't think. The only one that has a box is $2,000. It's size 9.5. Crazy. Shoe Battles got me the W. That's awesome. Thoughts on Yeezy or Nike Cream Pie Dunks? Uh, best Yeezy to start a collection. Whichever one you want. Are the Yeezy linens profitable? I mean, they're going for more than I thought, but they will drop in price. Thoughts on the James Bond Ultra Boost? I have not seen those yet, actually. Does Yeezy supply ship worldwide? I don't know. If you get through, you can check. Um, you should check the Tokyo 3s that are coming out in summertime. Those, I'm sure those are dope. I have the Tokyo 5s. They're sick. Um, have you ever been to Macedonia? I have not. I'd love to go. Um, what's good? What's good? What's good? Thoughts on Nike Sakai LD Waffle Summit White? They're all right. They're all right. StockX new 3% buyer fee. That's true. I'm not a huge fan of that. I wonder if that's if they still charge the seller 3% buyer fee or a seller fee. Actually, you know what? I did just sell on StockX a little while back, but it might have been before the 3%. So I'm not sure. Let me check. Um, currently, I'm not sponsored by anybody that resells sneakers. So not that I wouldn't have given you a biased or unbiased opinion before, but before I'd have to kind of give, give diplomatic answers while I was sponsored by StockX. Um... Oh, it was a payment processing fee. So I still got I still got the 8% transaction fee and I got a payment processing fee which I think is PayPal. So no, yeah, they just added on an extra 3%. That kind of sucks. But hey, I guess make their money if people are still going to buy from them, great, but that's kind of crazy. Surprised they did that. Um, have you been to London from England? 
Yes. Oh, absolutely. I have family over in Northern Ireland, so I go over to um whenever I'm in, uh, usually around the Giants Causeway area, um, or Bush Mills. I was drinking Bush Mills whiskey last night. I have a lot of family in Bush Mills, um, so I'll go over to London. I'll usually fly into London and then fly over, spend a day in London or not. Uh, Yeezy Supply does not cover every country. Fair enough. Isn't until the twenty second. Oh, isn't until the twenty second. Fair enough. So maybe they cut it. Do they cut it from the seller fee, or do they just add it on to the seller fee? If you designed a Jordan, what would it look like? I don't know. I haven't been given the opportunity. I'd love to. Um, got through no card save. Damn. Uh, what are your thoughts on possible Nike Air Yeezy retro? I don't think it's gonna happen. I think that would be sick, and I would absolutely buy it. But I really don't think it's gonna happen. Um. Uh, Travis Sixes or Travis One Lows? Which do I cop? I prefer the Travis One Lows. I don't love either of those shoes, but I would prefer the Travis One Lows. Um, does Goat Cards charge custom fees to the UK? I have no idea. I have no clue. Uh, what's up with the Dior's, bro? I have no clue, man. That it was supposed to. The raffle was supposed to be end of March, but things all got pushed back. I bet you it was just going to continue to get pushed back. I actually had some sponsored content that I was supposed to drop in March that required people to go outside. Um, and now I cannot do it, so we had to push that back too. It was a cool, it was a cool video too. Um, any ideas for first my first hype shoe? I don't know, man. Get whatever you like. Have you ever been to Norway? I have not, but I'd love to. Have you ever visited Charlotte? I was there for All Star Weekend. I, and my, I have some family. I have family everywhere. I have some family in uh, somewhere in North Carolina. Somewhere I forget exactly where it is. Uh, JS riding with Jesus. Thank you again for the two dollars. I appreciate that. Can we buy the fear of God from goat already? I don't. Oh, that's a good call. Let me check. Thank you again for the donation, by the way. If I could buy instant ship, I'd buy right now, and we, I'd give you guys a review as soon as possible. But I don't think they have instant ship because no one's back during Paris right now. <laughs> fear of God. Fear of God. Uh, they have a lot of sizes, but they do not have instant ship. And they're all going for about a thousand. So StockX is better prices right now. Shoot, should I just buy these on StockX and deal with that the fee? I mean, the fee hasn't even started yet. So shoot, I could buy them right now and not have to deal with that three percent fee. Hey Seth, I've been watching your videos for years. One question: What shoe is your favorite? Any shoe? Bread ones. Thank you for watching, by the way. Have you ever been to Milan? I have not. I've been to Italy a lot when I was younger because my dad used to have conferences over there, um, but haven't been recently. I think I went to Sicily, Rome, Florence. That was it. Yeah, that was it. Thoughts on foam runners? Yeah. <laughs> Where's another place in Canada you visit? Winnipeg. I'd like to see Brandon and Tom. Well, Tom's in New York, but I'd like to go to Winnipeg at some point. I was supposed to, but then my dog had this whole thing, so I couldn't. I, w I literally had bought tickets and everything, but that's what it is. Please stop spamming or else. Oh. Thank you, Connor, for taking care of that. I appreciate that. Chris, thank you again for the five dollars. My first type shoe were the breads, and I got them for two forty used, but I beat them to death. That's awesome. That's so cool. The breads are the best, man. Seriously, thank you so much for donating so much, man. I really appreciate that. You're the best. Uh oh, is Jacob here? Where's Jacob at? I saw someone tag Jacob Star. I don't know if he's actually here or not, but I do love Jacob Star. He's a good dude. David was good. Hey, what part of Baltimore are you from? I'm from Windsor Mill. <laughs> Baltimore County, just out, about 10 minutes outside of uh, Baltimore City. It's kind of close to um, Randallstown. I'm actually like within a mile of Randallstown, or was within a mile of Randallstown. Um, have you ever been to Greece? I'd love to go to Greece, but I have not. Are you coming to Toronto? I've been a couple times, but not rec not this year. So... But guys, I think I'm going to start rounding down the stream. It's been uh, it's been a blast having you guys here. Thank you guys so much for watching. One last time, I'm going to promote it one more time. Actually, stay tuned for this video. The review of these sneakers is coming tomorrow if I can muster the energy to get it done. And then uh, also, don't forget to enter the, uh, the Air Jordan 1 Court Purple giveaway, which we actually copped on last week's live stream. I'll show you guys again for the fourth time. Um, right there. Size 10. The way to enter is subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram, which is linked at the top of the description. Comment done underneath the picture of the sneaker, and you're good to go. Um, and then we'll randomly pick a winner from the comments and then double check that they are um, following in both. But Love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up if you haven't yet. You guys are the absolute best. If you have gotten a W, congratulations. If you got an L, I'm so sorry. You should still have some opportunities too. 
but um, it's starting to get kind of slim. So <laughs> just make sure to uh, make sure to try your best, and you should be fine. Uh, also, I don't think these things are going to resell for like too crazy money. So if you really like them, you can pay resale, but only if you really feel like you need it. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.